These two snake species are often confused in snake identification groups on social media. They are both very common snakes in the South that may look similar, but they actually have quite a few differences. The snake species I'm talking about is the common garter snake and the yellow rat snake. In this video, we'll take a look at five physical differences in the garter snake and the yellow rat snake. Then we'll do a deep dive on some of the characteristics that are not apparent in these two snake species. So let's get started. One of the easiest ways to tell a garter snake from a rat snake is by its size. Garter snakes rarely grow larger than two feet. However, rat snakes can grow up to three times that length and max out around six feet long. As you can see here, most of the time, the rat snake will have an entirely black tongue. However, garter snakes will have a red tongue that has a little bit of black on the very end. Garter snakes tend to have light colored stripes on a dark background. While rat snakes have four dark stripes on a light background. In fact, these snakes were once called four-lined rat snakes in the scientific nomenclature. Elaphe obsoleta quadrigivitatus, a very descriptive name. Four lines. Garter snakes have heavily keeled scales. This means that each scale has a ridge down the center, like this. Yellow rat snakes have no keels or are just slightly keeled. This gives smooth and shiny looking scales. Think of it like this. Rat snakes have a glossy or semi-glossy finish, but garter snakes have a matte finish. Garter snakes tend to have the classic S posture that we often see in many snakes. This helps them stay hidden in very high grasses. Rat snakes are famous for their kinked posture. Rat snakes lay eggs, but garter snakes give live birth. Baby garter snakes look just like the adults, but baby rat snakes have to grow into an adult pattern. Garter snakes actually have a mild venom, while rat snakes are powerful constrictors. Garter snakes prefer to eat frogs and fish, while rat snakes prefer to eat rats, birds, or birds' eggs. Garter snakes prefer to stay on the ground, while rat snakes are great at climbing everything. Garter snakes and rat snakes will act defensive and even bite when first encountered. However, both snakes will usually calm down when they realize you're not going to eat them. If you enjoyed learning some of the differences between the garter snake and the yellow rat snake, please tap the like button. And have fun observing these snakes for the rest of the summer.